Hey Taurus, Ascendant Sun, Moon, Venus rising, and those of you that are cross watching, welcome to your tarot messages. We'll take a look and see what the cards predict for you for the upcoming week or so. It is going to be a general one. If you're after a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. Hey, what's going on here? Okay, so there's a strong energy of someone here, whether it's yourself or a connecting energy, wanting to end a relationship, wanting to end a connection and uh, doing it. Okay, there is a conflict though with the Five of Wands energy. This is someone who's completely in conflict, in conflict with what he or she wants to do. And... I feel like this person is doubting whether they are doing the right thing or whether they've done the right thing. They're not trusting their intuition. They're not trusting their inner self, their inner being. And I'm seeing that this is someone who... Um, I feel like they don't want to potentially go back to what they once had. So, for example, they may have had a previous relationship in which um, it was a very toxic environment a very toxic situation or some very toxic interactions and they may feel like they're repeating that with you or you may feel like you're repeating this with that person and you know you have to walk away but you are emotionally invested you are someone who has you know someone who's very sensitive and someone who has strong feelings for this person but and even though a part of you knows now might potentially be a good um a good time to walk away you're struggling doing so because it's it's just it's not easy um and it's it's tough i'm seeing that whoever this person is it's so tough for this person to break ties with someone that they do love you know just for the sake of peace of mind or for the sake of self-respect um but it's so important that you know if you feel like this is the time that you need to walk away or if you know why if you feel like you know why your person has walked away um you know don't don't um don't chase them don't stop them so it's a tough call and a tough decision but i see that someone here is thinking about um something is think someone is thinking about walking away or someone has recently walked away so whether it's you or whether it's a connecting energy that you're involved with and here's the thing you should never compromise on peace you should never compromise on self-respect and dignity so you know that saying even though you love this person you can still love someone from a distance even though you love this person you know that the situation is not healthy for you five of wands there's just so much conflict a constant clash of the egos um you know five of cups they may have said something um, that may have really hurt you or have hurt the relationship and this is something that they regret um, but you know staying in an unhappy place or staying in an unhappy situation is going to make you feel miserable and it has made you feel miserable for quite some time it's made you feel lonely it's made you feel constantly disappointed um, and at the end of the day, you know, it's a choice. You choosing to stay with a person who makes you feel lonely or who makes you feel unhappy is at the end of the day is a choice. Um, I know a lot of you, whether it's you or your person, have been trying to imagine a better life together, a better situation. And I think that you've tried, but you cannot carry the weight of this relationship yourself. You possibly cannot sustain this connection on your own. So if your person isn't doing the work, if your person isn't pulling in the weight, you know, it now is probably the right time to walk away from a relationship or walk away from a connection. I feel like, you know, it's not wrong to remove yourself from your person or remove yourself from a situation just to go ahead and find your happiness. The Eight of Cups, you know, you whatever is on this side of the mountain has not been working for you. The relationship, whether this person has been a fluctuating presence in and out of your life, whether this is someone whom you have 
such conflicting in, intentions and expectations and desires with like it's not wrong for you to go ahead and prioritize your happiness or for you to go away and find your happiness um, it's so important that you keep your promises it's so important that you know you prioritize yourself your peace of mind your self-respect um I feel like this person hasn't necessarily reciprocated and you know that and I see that with the high priestess you know she is this mysterious energy she is someone who shrouds the reading or shrouds the energy in mysteries so um, she's also quite intuitive as well so you need to honor your intuition okay the high priestess could um, the reason why she's popped up here could be saying to you that look just because you walk away, it doesn't mean that this is the finality. It doesn't mean this is the final chapter and this is the ending of your relationship. You need to walk away and find your happiness. You need to walk away and find your peace. You know, find your self-respect. You need to honor that. Um, that might make them, you know, your absence might absolutely... It might make them realize just how much you're worth to them. Okay, so I, I, there's this strong energy of moving forward and um, finding your happiness here in the reading. Because there's every chance that you, sometimes people pull away only to come back together again and come and they come back together stronger. Because I feel like there is potential in this connection. But if your person isn't reciprocating, you know, it's not love if you're loving alone. So you're doing all the work. Um, it does indicate a bit of an imbalanced partnership or an imbalanced connection where maybe your person doesn't respect your thoughts, your feelings, your, you know, your personal um, endeavors here. Maybe they disapprove of your opinions and your decisions. Um, maybe they just neglect their efforts to make you happy, to make this a happy place, to make this a happy relationship. Whatever it is, you know, some of you know that it's time to walk away. Or some of you know that the reason why your person has walked away is because they cannot give you that happiness. And I know there's this feeling of regret and disappointment. And there's this energy of loneliness as well. But I feel like, I don't know if there is trust between you and this person in the relationship. Um, and if there's no trust, you know, a connection is bound to crumble this way. So the high priestess, as I've mentioned, she can be about illusions. She can be about secrecies. And... You know, if your person doesn't feel comfortable telling you their truth, um, they feel like they don't have that with you and they don't feel like they can gain your trust or you don't feel like you can gain their trust. And that kind of energy does not merit confidence in you, in your person or in this connection. So it's absolutely time to think about some things. I feel like there is potential, either to me, it feels like there is potential for this connection later on in life. So maybe not right now. Maybe the two of you need to, you know, you need to go away and do everything you possibly can to find your happiness, to find your peace. Um, but I feel like, to me, it feels like there's some things here you need to rethink. I'm also seeing that career here, career or financial, um, matters of financial aspects are coming up and i don't know if this is because um fine you know you guys used to argue over finance a lot or i don't know if it's because you have it feels like there's something in your energy here where um taurus you need to go ahead and chase your happiness and for some of you i feel like you have a dream and this connection being in this situation is kind of hindering that dream so that's the other reason why you know you need to walk away and remove yourself from this person because it, to me, it feels like you need to take back your sense of identity, your confidence, um, which I felt like a lack of has led to this depression, has led to this lonely, depressive state. So you need to go back and take that back. You need to go back and re-identify with that. So I'm also seeing that there is some sort of career path which you need to um, put yourself on. So if you find yourself constantly compromising, if you find yourself constantly clashing with your person, I do think it's probably time, you know, now's the time for you to, to walk away. Because a lot of you, I feel like you're holding on to something where, you know, you've almost made it, or you're almost in love, or you're almost at the point of figuring things out. 
that almost, almost, almost just keeps stretching on. The truth is you're struggling with it. I can see that. Or your person is struggling with it. So if they've grown distant or they've grown cold, they're struggling with the idea of parting. Um, you know, and I don't know if you guys have suddenly just woken up one day and found yourselves in the situation, or I don't know if it's been a long time coming, but the reality is like, you know, a, rela a healthy relationship doesn't make it on almost. Alright guys, and these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel. Bye.